Hi, Fiona from Parenting Team. Um, we've talked about effective praise and how um, the more you praise, the more that behaviour will grow. Um, I just thought it might be interesting just to take a couple of minutes to talk about what happens when we get it wrong. <laughs> when praise goes terribly wrong, we might not realise it's going terribly wrong, but it can go wrong sometimes. Um, we call this sort of less effective praise. Um, so less effect the most effective let's talk about what the most effective praise is the most effective praise is when something has been labeled so that you, the person that you're praising knows exactly what behavior they've done well and hopefully they'll repeat that behavior so thank you for putting your pots in the sink i really appreciate it you're a really big help to me oh mum likes it when that happens rather than saying finally you've put your pots in the sink i've only asked you 10 times to do it where's the praise in there it just gets a little bit blurred so less effective praise might be where you might just say oh well done good boy good girl great job that's nice it's better than no praise at all but it really doesn't mean anything good boy for what good girl for what well done for what the more labeled it is the more specific it is the more effective it is the other thing that sometimes we do with praise, less effective praise, is what is sort of one of the most dis, sort of disruptive kind of praises that you can give, and that's where you give it with one hand, and then you immediately you whip it away with the other hand. So an example of that might be, um, "Wow, well done for making your bed, Fiona. Why can't you do that every day?" Or, um, you know, "Thanks for putting the kettle on. I only asked you ten minutes ago." Or hang on, let me just sit down and take a minute and take your temperature because I can't believe you've actually put all the toys away in the room. The praise gets very lost in there. It's sarc We use sarcasm. Kids don't get sarcasm. Teenagers get sarcasm. If you're sarcastic to a teenager, they'll just give it you straight back. They'll be just as sarcastic back to you and you can find yourself in an argument. The other thing is don't wait uh, for perfection to praise. Um, if you waited for perfect behaviour, you could have an awful long time to wait. Sometimes we wait to the end of the day and then I'll praise them if they've been good all day. Probably you're never going to get the opportunity to praise them. So it's um, catch them being good. I think it's not try and think of if you're if your your kids were poorly and they were in a hospital and they're on a drip, you'd be able to see the saline or the penicillin, whatever the medicine is coming in through that drip, making them well. Think of praise in the same way. So that drip says praise on it and it's dripping it, drip, 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 little and often, little and often. What really, really good teachers do is just at the right moment, they walk around the classroom. So when you, your child's drawing a picture and they just think, oh, that's gonna be rubbish, just at that right time, just then, they catch them and they'll go, wow, Fiona, that picture that you're doing is gonna be absolutely amazing when you're finished. I love all the bright colors that you've put on it. I'm going to think it's not that bad. Miss has just said it's not so bad. So effective praise um, is when they know exactly what they've done and what they've done well. Less effective praise where there's a sting in the tail where you give it with one and you take it away with the other. I hope that's helpful.